some young music listeners are taking old records off the shelf instead of shuffling tunes on their iPods. Brad Macri is 26 years old and likes sorting through record stacks, trying to find more albums to add to his collection. The smell of a new record, the, the, the dust that comes off when you first crack the seal, all of that is definitely something that has a, a very unique feel. Brad is a DJ and visits record shops in downtown Toronto to buy classic LPs. But being a DJ isn't the only reason why Brad treasures his turntable. David Hayes did a thesis at the University of Toronto about young consumers and their relationship with the music industry. He says most of the people he interviewed during his research were into classic rock artists like the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, David Bowie, and Pink Floyd, and that there are a few things about these artists' records that are turning people like Brad toward vinyl. The highly visual nature of those covers versus the CD booklet was something that many of the young people obviously were drawn to. Sean Walters is the assistant manager at Vintage Sounds on Queen Street. He says his young clientele judged the book, or in this case the album, by its cover. CDs, you only have like a small picture like that. Vinyl, you can open up the sleeve, you can look at a big lyric book, but you know, it's a, everything's kind of expanded and it's, it's almost more it's more wondrous. Some say the artwork isn't the most attractive thing about records, it's the price. Burt Myers has been selling vinyl at Vortex Records on Young Street for 30 years and says you'll get more for your money at second-hand shops. They could go to uh, an HMV and buy a CD for $22 or they could come down here and possibly get five records uh, for that. Record prices depend on how old they are, how rare and where they're made. Some collectible records can cost as much as new CDs, but the average prices of classic rock albums can range from free to $15. There is something about the thrill of coming home with something that's cheaply acquired but still uh, has artistic merit. The higher the damage, the lower the price. But just because an LP or 45 skips, cracks, or pops, doesn't mean someone's going to toss it in the trash. The sound quality of a vinyl record versus a CD or an MP3, you're, you're dealing with a, a rounded wave as opposed to a square wave. So you're getting a much uh, warmer sound. But there's something other than just the artwork, the sound quality and the prices that appeals to young music listeners. Playing records reminds us of the golden age of music when bands didn't seem to make profit their priority. Well, there was a sense that artists who um, were, had the bulk of their music career on vinyl were somehow more authentic than contemporary musicians. Uh, the artist was really about telling a story, and it was more about their artistic expression being, being encompassed in the entire product than a bunch of engineers in a studio uh, overproducing uh, a certain sound to get a certain reaction and then, you know, slapping a picture of the artist on the cover. Listening to records is like taking a trip back in time to the days when albums were about more than just music. They were about tuning in to an experience. At Bathurst and Bloor, I'm Rosie Del Campo for RTV News.